Good morning, gardeners. Check out this beautiful Peruvian apple cactus flower. Now what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna collect some of this pollen and I'm gonna try to use it on my bruni, one of my bruni flower buds, just to see if it works. Because I find it, the structure of this flower is very similar and I've heard people claim that it works, but I wanna try it myself. So I will collect some of the pollen off of this flower before the bee takes it all. See, it's just beautiful, so happy in there. And we'll see if it works. So let me go show you some other flower buds I have and some of the some of the my pollen pollination plans for this season. So let's go check it out. Okay, so the bees beat me to most of the pollen, but I did get just enough to try that experiment. So I'll let you know how it goes. I thought I'd share some of the flower buds going on here on these mature cuttings. This one is Jala number one. See, it's a really unique shape. Very interesting looking compared to other dragon fruit flower buds. So that's Jala number one. Now, here is Paul Thompson 6S. Very rare. So the 6S flower bud, I'm surprised it's still going strong. This is Paul Thompson's number seven. I believe it's self sterile. It looks a lot like Sugar Dragon, but it's definitely different. This is Paul Thompson's number seven, not seedling seven, number seven. And here is a sugar dragon flower bud on another mature cutting. Now this one doesn't even have any roots. I'll show you. Let's see. Nothing. So it just shows you how temperature is a really key factor for flower bud development. And these have all been in my shady part of my greenhouse, by the way. So the sun has not been a factor, just temperature. Here is Selenocerius grandiflorus, very hairy, you can see. Here's one of Paul Thompson's Ocamponis, one of two that he collected. This is the spinier one. Can't remember the unknown number offhand. But really, really beautiful flower bud, look at that color. I like how unique all of these look. Well, I guess except for the sugar dragon and number seven. Now here's Arizona purple, and this is where I got lucky because this one is gonna pollinate my bruni flower buds. You can see this one's definitely not going to abort, at least I hope. It looks like it's gonna open, I would say in the next five to seven days, maybe, in the next week. So I'll be able to harvest the pollen from this. And this is, uh, again, Arizona Purple, they say, is the same as Sugar Dragon. And it looks the same, and I hope to confirm that. But we'll see if this thing's actually going to produce a fruit. But let me go show you what I'm going to use this pollen on. So let's go check out Bruni. Okay, so this is Bruni, and you can see it has four flower buds. And I'm shocked that this little plant has produced four flower buds already but that's what happened. You can see they're a little bit different in size. They're kind of two are larger. This one, they're, they're alternating in size, I guess you could say. So larger, smaller, larger, smaller. And they've all opened on the same day. These are gonna produce a beautiful purple flower. So I'm gonna use the pollen from Arizona Purple and I'll try that Peruvian apple cactus on these to see if we'll have a successful cross-pollination. So there you go, that's the plan. That's kind of the update on some of the flower buds here. Give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. Have a great day. Thanks for your time.